Hello people, I'm the Rokong Gamer today. I'm gonna to be showing off the Red Hood story pack. Let's restart it. I already beat it. I streamed it the other day, but I decided to show it to you guys on YouTube because streaming's just crazy. <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. Red Hood plays pretty cool. He plays like a mix between Nightwing and Robin, which is awesome in how he let's should play. See if these guns are everything Black Mask says they are. You call a black mask a liar? Quit busting my chops. Just show me what we got. The only thing I don't like about this DLC is the fact that uh, there's no challenge. You can't play as Red Hood in challenge maps. Which really is disappointing. This is the only way to play as him until like mods come out. So officially, this is the only way to play as him. But he's got some really cool and brutal moves. He, just, he plays really nice. Like, it's just awesome. Like, that, like, it's just brutal. And it makes me, like, so mad about how Deathstroke was in Arkham Origins. Bam. Because I could have literally just done this. Except with... They could have given him swords, or they could have given him at least a gun. That would have been awesome. Still got a copy of Robin. I don't know how guns KO a person, but you know it works somehow. And the story DLC is really short. Oh. Oh no, he picked up a taser. Wow. Oh. He's got this hit kick. And, and his story DLC doesn't play out as much like a story as Harley's. Mask, keeping the goods. You want information? Read a newspaper. Wrong answer. Okay, okay, stop. At the docks. He's keeping the guns at the docks. Appreciate that. But yeah, like it's it's just like the normal campaign challenge maps from the previous games, which sadly are not in this game. Like the challenge maps in Arkham Knight are very disappointing. <laughs> there are very few of them. And they're not all that great. Especially since like Red Hood and Harley aren't even available there. Like Batman's the only one and Nightwing with dual play. There might be others in like other dual play maps. I haven't unlocked every challenge map yet, but there's not very many. Okay, this is where it's good. It's interesting. See, there's eleven guys. Okay. Uh oh, he's he could see me. This guy is gonna. Okay, no, he's not looking over. One thing that I think is really cool about this, about Red Hood, is like he can see like uh. Sometimes it'll show you their. Oh, just snap, just snap. I'll show you their. Um, what's it called? Like how, where they're looking. I don't know what the right word is. I can't talk right now. Is it me? Or is he too quick? Uh oh. Let's get him! Oh! Well, that didn't go so well. Let's retreat. <laughs> Aha, this guy's all by himself. It looks really good. Like, Red Hood looks awesome. Just crush that guy's windpipe. Like, Red Hood, there's no holding back, and it's awesome. Come on. Oh no, these guys are all right next to each other. Probably should take that sniper out before doing too much more. Okay. Straight up cracks his neck. It's so cool looking. Dead, dead, dead. 
His crouch looks a little weird, though. But that's just a minor complaint. And stay down. Okay. Only got six more to go. I like that his tells you where they're all at, too. So is that guy. Let's take him out, because he's just a little bit closer. Oh. Consider yourself retired. Yeah, retired. I like that this says neutral. Oh, wait, no. Uh, that condition neutralized. Like it doesn't say, you know, unconscious dead. It's just like they're they're done. Neutralized. Thought that was pretty cool. Ah, that guy's by himself. Damn, we need to get this Where is he at? Thought I just saw him over here. Oh, there he is. Ah! Ah! Okay, I made it. It's all good. Oh, they didn't even hear me. Smack straight into that window. Ah, that guy's alone now. Where does this one come from? Was he the one who took down Four guys Check left. I got a missing wall. Like teleport behind him. Bend down. You might need help. He looks really cool. And you don't need that neck anymore. Oh, that flip! <laughs> it's all I got this flip. What a candy full of baby. And there we go. Let's do this. Run. Trust yeah. me. It's the smart thing to do. Ah! He's all the way over there. I didn't think he was going to jump over at me. Takedowns are so cool looking. No. Oh my gosh, I did not look at that guy. Why didn't have me go and punch him? Punch him in the back. And that's all of that. Big mistake coming here. Big mistake. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Straight in the face. Hi. Guys, just leave me alone. Get red. I got get black mask real quick. I just shot him in the face. He's still alive. Bam. See, that guy got shot in the face and he's no longer alive. 
That's what should happen when you get shot in the face. You die. Oh. Boss battle. Just a normal one, sort of like Lady Shima and stuff. And like, heck, Black Mask's first boss battle in, uh, Ar Aha! in Arkham City, the challenge map with Robin. That's such a cool move. Hi. Kicks him over like he's nothing. Oh. This black master thing is coming out of nowhere. It's like the ceiling. And just gut shot him. Black mask. You should have left when you had a chance. You don't need to do this. Give me money. Drums, guns, weapons, whatever you want. Please, I'll pick a plane. We've got them. Never show my face again. Anywhere you want. I'll go anywhere. How about you go to hell? That's our Sparta. Say out a joker for me. <laughs> and that's the Red Hood story pack. So yeah, kind of disappointing. Red Hood himself plays awesome. Why does it have... It had PlayStation controls in the bottom left. That was weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it, it's really, it's kind of disappointing. Red Hood himself feels really good. I like the way he plays, but the story pack, it was just basically a normal campaign challenge without the actual challenge part, because, you know, it's just beat everyone up. There wasn't any, like, specifically do this, like, get a, um, like, do a fire extinguisher, like, hit it, and then do a sonic takedown to a guy caught in the smoke from the fire extinguisher. There's nothing like that. No challenges. So, yeah, also... Here, I'll go to the, these are the challenge maps. As you can see, there's nothing for Red Hood or Harley Quinn, even though I thought they'd be in here. Like, it makes no sense. They're not in here. That sucks. So, if when this comes out for people that aren't just pre-ordered, if it's, like, above five bucks, it's not really worth it, unless you're, like, a huge Red Hood fan. It's not, because, like, you don't get, like, any content for it. Unless, like... If you're on PC, because PC, it'll probably get modded to where you can free run with Red Hood. But anywhere else, if you're not a big Red Hood fan, then I would say it's not worth it if it's above five bucks when it comes out eventually. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the Red Hood DLC, as you guys just got to see it. It, it, was, it was fun, but disappointing. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Red Hood DLC. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.